said, ah, oh, today we're doing a different sort of a bookmark. It's not a bookmark corner, but it's an arty bookmark. Very simple, you just pop it in and uh, keep your place. And this is based on the black glue and watercolor project that we've done on the sharks before. You can see them down below or in the iCards and they're live at the moment. And also on my friend's um, seahorse. So this is from Rachel at I Heart Crafty Things. I'm gonna put a link to her um, blog and her project as well and her template. And you can basically download uh, both that and that to make your bookmarks. But of course you can also have a go at drawing your own. But anyway, this is a really fabulous art technique Come and take a look, it's really lovely, and see if you're inspired to have a go. So come on in, let's take a look. Okay, what you'll need is some card or cartridge paper, uh, you get a pencil, watercolors, um, an eraser for your pencil lines if you want to, some black glue, which I can show you how to make up here or in the description down below. And then either you can draw your own design or you can use these handy printables that I've put down below um, and use those. Now, uh, I've also got a shark um, art project down below which helps you, um, shows you how to uh, draw your own shark. But if not, uh, do you use the printable. And the first thing I'm gonna do is just very gently trace my shark. And like I say, you can draw your own, that's great as well. And you've got your outline. And I'm gonna repeat the same for the seahorse, but what you want to do is you still want to add the rest of the outlines, that part of the drawing. And then, because this is gonna be a stained glass project, you want to put in some random, kind of like, stained glass shapes. And it just means you can add a bit more color to your design. I think that will do. And now I'm gonna repeat the same for the seahorse and then we'll do the next step. Now, as you can see, I simplified uh, the seahorse drawing a little bit because when you're working with black glue, um, obviously the lines will be a bit thicker so it won't be necessarily that easy to use. So now I need a scrap piece of paper to get my glue going, let me just get that. So, the important thing is, is that the nozzle is clean, that you don't get black glue all over your fingers. And you can do a little bit of a practice run first. And just make sure it's coming out the way you want it to. And if not, you take a pin, free up the kind of space and try again. Thing is, this is getting empty now because both my daughter and I have been doing projects. Oh, here we go. You see, it's good to use the practice paper first so that you can practice getting those lines out without too much of a squish. So that's good, I'm happy with that. So now I'm gonna carefully outline my shark and my seahorse. I'll do that on speed and then we'll let it dry. dry it's time to have fun with watercolors so I'm going to speed the video up for this bit um, and you can just watch me color I'm going to just have fun with colors and explore and try different things let them dry until we can then when they're then ready to cut out so let's wait a little bit and come back okay all we need to do now is cut out our bookmarks don't they look lovely I'm so excited so I'm going to speed this part of the video up um, and I'm just going to try and cut it as neatly as I can but kind of leaving a little white rim because I think that looks really nice <laughs>
in here they are again finished aren't they lovely i think this black glue and watercolor technique is really fun and really pretty and makes a great little summer project uh, remember i show you how to make black glue and you know bigger water, uh, project with the watercolors down below and also i heart crafty thing has created this template for you guys but of course you can have a go at drawing freehand but i do think the templates are really helpful and handy and i think they look super super pretty so anyway so that's it for today don't forget to like comment subscribe all that kind of business keep watching keep making and hopefully we will see you again soon take care bye